There's this magical moment in every game developer's journey when the stars align and their dream game just comes together like a perfectly solved puzzle. And like a weld oil machine, they're able to convert every idea, every concept into the most engaging story and exciting gameplay. Well, my friends, now is not that moment. Now, I want to share with you some valuable tips on how you should pick a game engine to make your dream game and also compare some other engines out there to my game engine of choice, Godot. Get ready for some game-changing insights. See what I did there? Welcome back to the Ragu Games. So I'm a hobbyist game dev and I make 2D games. Before I get started, I have to be honest. This is just a combination of some facts and some of my personal opinion. I have not used all these game engines myself to make games past the tutorial level, but I've done my research. And if I miss something, please let's discuss in the comments. I would love to hear your thoughts. So here we go, some things to decide before you even choose a game engine. The first thing to consider is will the game engine run on your computer? What good is it if it doesn't work on your PC or Mac, right? Next, consider what type of game you are going to be making. While I did say I was going to be focusing on 2D, I want to keep my suggestions flexible in case you decide to pivot to 2.5D or even 3D as you progress. Okay, I know what you're thinking. Can't most game engines nowadays handle anything that's thrown at them? Well, yeah, to some extent this is true, but although game engines have come a long way, not all game engines are created equally. And on top of that, it's very important to have a clear understanding of what type of game you want to make. So you should have a plan. Make a game design document outlining the key aspects of your game. Those of you watching that have ever participated in a game jam know exactly how important this planning process is. Now for some tips on how you should pick one. The user interface is going to be the first thing you'll see and a user-friendly user interface and intuitive tools will significantly reduce your learning curve. You should choose one that allows you to focus more on making your game rather than struggling with complex features that you may not even need. Check that the game engine supports the platforms you intend to release your game on. Whether it's PC, Mac, console, mobile devices, or a combination, verify that the game engine you choose provides the support for your target platforms. Evaluate the game engine's tools for 2D graphics. Examine its capabilities for animating and manipulating sprites. Ensure that the game engine supports the file formats for the art and audio that you use and provides essential features such as particle systems and lighting to enhance the visual appeal of your game. Look into the size and activity of the game engine's community. A strong community can provide valuable support, resources and tutorials and comprehensive documentation can be a godsend for troubleshooting issues and understanding the full potential of the game engine. What will you consider regarding revenue sharing and the rights and licenses associated with your game? Do you have a particular revenue sharing structure in mind? Or would you rather use a completely free and open source game engine for your project? Understanding this is crucial for making an informed decision with regards to the financial and licensing future of your game when it becomes a success. Okay, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. You first need to choose a game engine to make your dream game, right? So let's establish a baseline. Godot is completely free and open source and is continually being improved. In my opinion, the website is both professional and inviting and delivers clear and precise information to anyone that visits the site. There is no confusion as to which version you should get for your project. It's really lightweight and does not need to be installed. Simply download, extract and open the engine and you're ready to start making games. It has a really clean and user-friendly user interface with links to the support documentation built right into the engine. Godot uses its own scripting language, GDScript, that's loosely based on Python. It even has its own script editor built in as a separate tab. Godot also boasts support for c -sharp, which although not fully integrated, its support is continuously being improved. It also has a continuously growing community and good documentation with tutorials and resources that make learning game dev fun and accessible. I'm going to be looking at these three popular game engines with great 2D support, GameMaker, GDevelop and Cocos. Now let's answer the big question. You know, the elephant in the room. Why didn't I mention Unity? Should you even use Unity? 
When looking at the website, you can tell that this engine is no joke, and it can be a lot to take in as a beginner. When you click on the pricing, it immediately takes you to an option that's over $2,000. But hold on, there's a student and hobbyist tab, and that does offer a free option. Unity uses c -sharp, which is a very versatile programming language. And I can say that Unity has been the number one choice for many 2D indie game creators in the past. It has many success stories, and there's a lot of content out there. It also has a huge community and tons of resources. And because of this, I believe there's no reason why if you choose Unity, you will not be able to make your dream game. But, and this is a big but, Unity is plagued by consumerism. In my opinion, that is. Okay, this may be my unpopular opinion. Really, I don't want to offend any Unity users out there that may be watching. However, as a hobbyist game dev, before I switched to Godot, I'd been using Unity for about three years. And while it was fun learning, because everything was so new and exciting, I always felt like I was being nickel and dimed. Now I understand that a game engine does not run on unicorns and rainbows, but I kept feeling like I was in a pay-to-win game situation. You know, that game you play after a hard day that you just don't want to grind your way to level 100? If there was only an easier way. It wasn't until that whole runtime fee disaster that it all became clear. But I'm not going to get into it here. If you're new to game dev and you want to give it a try, there's absolutely no reason why you shouldn't take a look at it. It does take a little effort to get it set up and working, and you might find some challenges trying to run it on an older PC. But you don't necessarily need a top-of-the-line computer either. The good news is that there's a wealth of information and plenty of resources available to help you get started. Just be wary of getting sucked into the loop of constantly buying assets that make promises they can't keep. A very good place to start is CodeMonkey's channel. I will have links to all the things that I discuss below the subscribe button. Heading over to the Game Maker's website, my first impression is that it's warm and inviting. It looks like a really friendly place where I can just hang out and learn. They even invite us to make a game. Looking at the tutorial, Game Maker uses two methods for programming games. A visual scripting method and a code based method which uses GML, Game Maker language. GML is based on JavaScript, C++ and c -sharp languages combining them in specific ways. Now let's take a look at the products they offer. There's a free, professional and enterprise version, all of which offer GX.Games exports when you make your game. GX.Game is Game Maker's dedicated platform for launching games made with Game Maker on the web. They host both free and paid games. And while all tiers offer exports to desktop, web and mobile, the free license only covers GX games for commercial exports. To export commercial games to desktop, web and mobile platforms, you'll need a professional plan for $99 and an enterprise subscription to export to console. This is worth considering if you plan on making commercial games in the future. Looking at GDevelop's website, I don't get the same feeling as I did with GameMaker. There's a clear tab at the top for pricing and download. It does state that GDevelop is an open source game making app that is free and supports both 2D and 3D game development. They offer a no code solution to game making and offer both web based and downloadable versions to the engine. The pricing structure is a lot different from GameMaker. I think it's because it's supposed to be free and open source. You get to choose from individual, professional and teams and education, with each offering specific features based on their tier. Premium plans allow you to unlock premium online services built to publish and operate your games. They even offer you commercial support, for a fee of course. The Cocos website has a really premium design in my opinion. And if you have a slow internet connection like mine, you'll need to give it a minute to load. It's another free and open source game engine, but it can be a bit confusing to a beginner as to what version you should get to start making your games. If you go to the resources drop down, then go to video tutorials, it takes you to their YouTube page, which has a lot of useful information that can help you get started. There's also detailed documentation 
that can guide you through the setup. But it's worth noting, they also have a much smaller community. So getting help may not be as easy as with the other game engines that I mentioned. It's written in C++ and provides support for various programming languages, including C++, C Sharp, Lua, and JavaScript. So there you have it some tips to help you get started. I continue to use Godot because it ticks all the boxes for me. Thanks for watching. Remember, if you liked the video and want to come back, consider hitting that subscribe button. Give the video a like, it really helps me out. And don't forget to hit that bell to get notified when my next video is out. Have a great day and look out for more right here on DRAGO Games.